against Atlanta. Eli's team has won seven straight games in October. First quarter, Giants down 3-0. Manning getting his play-action freak on to Amani Toomer. Amani's first touchdown since week three of last season. Steve, how did it go down? Put it in the back's belly. Linebacker stares it down. Hold it as long as you can. Pull it back out and deliver it right over the top of his head. That's textbook. Falcons next possession, first and 10 from their own 33, Jarius Norwood. Falcon GM Rich McKay told me that this kid, Jarius, loves to hunt and fish, and he hates to go out at night, which is pretty good. 67-yard touchdown, which is the shortest of his career. His other scores have been 69 and 78 yards. Falcons retake the lead, 10-7. But next Giants possession, driving inside the Falcons, 20. Manning, play action, rolling right and hitting Amani Toomer, who does a barista cough on the sideline. Emmett, how does he stay in bounds here? If this is mad skill, Focus, concentration, and getting your feet down in bounds. This is what you, this is textbook. This is what every kid should know if you want to learn to become a great wide receiver. Armani sets a Giants career record and catches with 587. Next play, Ruben Drones, man up. It's Ruben's third touchdown this year, all of them from one yard out. Giants up 14-10. Second quarter, 14-10. The Wyverns at KO would call this sick nasty or just sig nasty. Plaxico Burris. First receiver since 1987, and that was Jerry Rice, with at least one touchdown catch in his first six games. Steve, how did it work? Watch Lawyer Malloy. Obviously, they'd set this up with other play action before that. Lawyer Malloy just got flat-footed and went right by him, and the backside safety was not there to help. Easy score. Third quarter, 21-10, G-Man. At throw 47, Manning deep down the right side to Toomer. D'Angelo Hall shows why he's one of the best lockdown covers in the game. 14th career interception. Eli's second pick of the game. Falcons drive, though, would stall. Jeremy Shockey, what's this, Emmett? Oh, this is just a leg whip. Jeremy Shockey just trying to make a play, realize he cannot make the tackle on his own, so he leg whips the runner. And rightfully so, got called for a penalty. Fourth quarter, 5.30 left. Falcons offense just struggling. I didn't know that was a three-syllable word. Joey Harrington over the middle to work done. He got popped. Joey only 18 of 39. Steve, when you're quarterback and you're struggling like this, what, what's going through your mind? You know what? First downs are so tough. Defenses continue to creep and creep and take the oxygen out of the offense, and things get very difficult. Look at this. Even completing short passes, all of a sudden, everybody is off target. At that point, the Falcons had their third straight three and out. Byron Leftwich, he wants to start. He says he's ready to start, but for this game, he was actually listed as the third string quarterback. Giants just opened up a can on the, you know what, on the Falcons. 31 of 10, Eli 27 of 39, 303 yards. It is his sixth career 300 yard game, and interestingly, all six have been on the road. After the game, there is despair for the hometown team. And yo, what up? We are playing ball for the road Giants.